Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and recently I was lucky enough to play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled on the PS4 for a good hour or so. Now this was the very latest build of the game and it included four tracks, um, and Activision's actually sent me some brilliant b-roll which shows the before and after of these circuits, so I'm going to squeeze that into this video. But before I get into my impressions, I want to remind you to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and with all that said, let's get into it. Now, there's no question that my impressions have been coloured ever so slightly by the fact that I was awful at this game on the day, and look, I'll be honest with you, I got my ass absolutely kicked. But in my defence, the game was running on hard difficulty and it was nails at times. I also haven't played Crash Team Racing for eons, so I'm getting my excuses out of the way nice and early. The game, though, looks absolutely beautiful, um, just like the Ensign Trilogy did um, a couple of years ago. It's very vibrant and colourful, and the included Nitro Kart tracks in particular are absolutely bursting with detail. Now, I played on a PS4 Pro, which appeared to be outputting in 4K, but I don't think HDR was enabled. That said, some of these tracks are going to look absolutely sublime on a modern television screen. Now I do have to unfortunately quickly touch upon the frame rate. The game is very much still in development so it's important that no one jumps to any conclusions but it was running at 30 frames per second in this demo and there were definitely dips as well. Obviously frame rate is one of the last things that developers optimise so I'm sure all of that will be cleaned up but Activision couldn't actually confirm to me whether there will be a 60 frames per second option in the final game and that's something very much worth keeping in mind. That said the controller response is really good and the gameplay feels relatively fast and fluid. I must admit I had some difficulty wrapping my head around the boost mechanic which remains true to the original game so you're basically hopping to drift and then you're filling up a meter which you can use to boost up to three times per corner um, and this maximizes your propulsion when you're accelerating out of a bend. It's a deep and interesting system but it's one that does take a little time to wrap your head around especially if you've been playing a lot of Mario Kart. Now I think the most interesting thing of all is that this appears to be a kind of mashup of Crash Team Racing games, which I actually wasn't aware of going into this demo. So all of the content from the original PS1 game is in there, but like I mentioned earlier, there are also Nitro Kart tracks and vehicles in it, so there's a bit more meat on the game's overall bones. I think when you consider that the Ensign trilogy and the Spyro trilogy effectively included three games, it makes a lot of sense that um, developer Beanox has added in the Nitro Kart content, though I did find the overall layout of the PS2 tracks a little bit cumbersome compared to the PS1 originals. Nevertheless, I'm excited to play more of this because kart racers and honestly arcade racers in general are kind of underserviced on the PS4. It definitely looks beautiful and it feels really good to play. I've just got my fingers crossed that the final version manages to squeeze in a 60 frames per second mode. But let me know whether you'll be picking up Nitro Fueled in the comments section below. What are your thoughts on the frame rate? Do you think it's going to have a 60 FPS mode or not? Um, does it need one? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And yeah, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much for watching.